Hey guys, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA for a discount at checkout. They have the cheapest coins on the internet and they also do comfort trade which is 100% reliable. They do Xbox and Playstation and as you can see guys, by the prices here you can tell that they are definitely the cheapest out there. Also guys, if you want any information on how it works, go on the how it works section and they'll be sure to help you in any way. They also have 24 hour support though they're able to help you at any point during the day. Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to episode number six of Trading Two Moments R Nine. Sorry for the breaking up, those guys. are going to be back again now, more consistent. I see a little time to make some videos and get sorted. I have been away as well, so don't worry about that. We're coming back in here now, and you can see we have picked up a Thomas Muni of a 39k. We're going to sell him on here for around 46 to 50. Um, and then we come back now to a Marcus Rubin um, on the thing. I think we might have got him on a deal. We'll just check now, see if we got one or not. I can't remember. Um, we did now get a Pedro Porro for 40k, which is a nice deal. Um, it's a couple of K for um, him. And the Iago here, 35 to 50 is his cheapest. If you got for 27, which is nice. We're going to list him up here, though, for 35 ish. He's in the shadow, too. Uh, maybe 34. Yeah, 33, 750 in the end. Um, then we go and get a Grifo and a Walkovist here, or Walhovist. Um, you can see here, Grifo is quite expensive at the time, 39k. Go for 19k, which is really, really good actually. Um, and listen up here for 35 and a half. And then Welker was here, 20k for this guy. You can see 31 is the only one on the market. So we're going to go and try and sell him on for 29,750. And coming back here now into the transfer, as you can see, an item has sold. And it is actually the Pedro Porro, unsurprisingly. We've still got loads of players from the last episode to list up again. Wag them up there. And then coming back in here now, we've sold. Uh, so we got another player. And this time it is a nice little deal on a Van Basten icon. 95k for him. You can see here, he is going for quite a high price at the moment. Um, 130, 125k. So maybe like we're going to get like 120 for him, hopefully, here. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe that was a little high for him because 111 is what we went for. Um, I'm guessing we didn't um, like have his very high point of a time. And Vahilovic did sell on two here, so we go and get rid of those. Got some more Shadow and Hunter cards there. You can see they're very easy to buy. Um, Saka as well for 2.4. Sell another 4.5. Like one 2k a card, which is really handy. Like it's just easy coins. Like it's so simple to do. Um, that you might as well do it. Um, Kamavinga here 2.2k. And Rulison here for 2k. Uh, Listen all them up there. And hopefully we will go and make some nice coins on those guys coming back in now there's loads of informs here like we're just getting so many deals on these rare informs i just kept going through them because it was just so easy 30k for this guy here gonna go and listen up on the market for 35 it's about 3k after tax a paulinho here 33k for this guy for 20 though gonna listen up a little bit cheaper though, at 30 hopefully try and get him sold on and then another paulinho again here for 20 it's 28 for this one Trying to get them sold on quickly. This David Garcia was a crazy one, 29k for him. But he's off for 70, which is a very high price. And it's up for 48. We've got this Bezot, the keeper. Um, he seems to be going for around 18, 19k at the time. Um, just checking through there, making sure there's no others lurking around. Um, at the back, someone had like price fixed him at 24k, but it seemed to have failed because there was so many up. So it was a little bit pointless, really. I mean, they probably lost a lot of coins off that. But we got in for 12,750. And then we did go and see this 12,250 here. So we're going to go and whack a bit on that one, too, here. Just see if we can win that one. And um, yeah, we'll leave those other ones. So we're going to go list him up here now for around 18k and hopefully have some profit. Mishy Bachuayi was extinct here. Got for 16k. His max is 50, but that is overpriced. We're going to get 35k. Then we have another Walker. This is number 9.4k. We've got a minimum bid on him, which was crazy. Um, we just got a bid on him and he just we just easily got him which is pretty crazy um going in here now six have sold here you can see and we have one two more items which you can see here one of them is the bees up that we did go and bid on had that five minutes to go so we can list them up here now for around 18k hopefully but you see here loads more deals again another grifo and another one coming from bid here maybe with a bit of luck um you'll see if we get those if, or maybe we won't but you see he's going for like 40k again um nearly but then there's three of them that ruin it so i was getting a bit excited there but suddenly it's gonna be a little like 2k profit um then we have that bees up that we did get here you'll see him earlier it's price fixed again uh, we're going to check his price just to show you guys um how much he's going for again someone's got so many lists of him i wonder if they sell any of these that's what i was always thinking like, i wonder if they actually sell these on it's gonna be a pretty good idea to do with these sort of informs if you do because obviously they're so rare now that i mean it's easy money you get gomez here for 21k this guy as well you'll see here there's one going on bid here for 9.9 i'll .9. whack a little bit on it because you never know what might happen um listing it up here for around 25 26k maybe um yeah 26 and a half and then we have a caprari here this guy again 
of rare. Like him and there's another guy that's a right back for the same team as We've got loads of these. I think there's three of them in the end for 15k and around that sort of price. Uh, you'll see here 15, 16. Um, like eight k a card if they do sell on, and then finally we got one here for ten to fifty, which is obviously like fourteen k. Um, if we make that profit, and then we got Lapadula here. This guy thirty five k, paid twenty k for. I'm gonna list him up here for thirty five hundred and see if we sell him. But coming back in here now, you'll see um that we did actually come in here and sell quite a few things. Um, Munia sold Griefer sold Andiago, and three of those convert um those Hunter Shadow cards did also sell on. And finally now we're gonna go into here and look at what we won. We won that Greek over 13k, which is very nice actually. We can go and make some nice coins off that and hopefully sell it on for around I think 19, 20k, uh, 22k. I'm rubbish at remembering the prices. And we have a final deal here, I think it is Ito. I think it's one of the last deals that we did get. Um, just checking his price. We can see here eight sales, and we've probably got a load more to list up. I think maybe four or five in here. Um, so we had an Ito, I think. No, we didn't actually. It's three Everton's and a Whittle. A Kittel, sorry, <laughs> Whittle. Um, so 13k for him. Going to list up for 17 and a half overnight. Um, well, for a whole day actually, must have been going out. And then three Everton, so 20k for the first one. We're going to list it up here for 24. Then we've got this one for 19,750. Again, we're going to list it around 24. Uh, 23k something like that um, and finally we got one here for 19k again might as well go and pick them all up it's 2k a card 3k a card so it's a nice little 8 9k profit and finally guys coming into here now we're going to see what we have sold on you can see eight sales from before we sold in the Raphael toy two griefos um, the bees up for 18 um, a gradle and a walkuous thank you so much for watching guys please do sub if you are new and i'll get the next episode out very soon